Yo, it's late. I got up late, went, laid back down, and I slept some more. I was really tired today. <sighs> As you can see, the sun is actually going down. But I got a couple things I need to do. So let's get to it. Yo, can I say that Talk To You, Lil Darling by Talib Kweli and Bilal, it's a song that came out in the early 2000s, mid 2000s. Great song, love that song. Anyway, look, I'm on the hunt for Hello Toothpaste. Someone shared this, it says it's, it's great for teeth whitening. I want to put this to the test. So I'm going to run into this Rite Aid and I'm going to see if they have some. Let's go. There it is. Damn, it's $6.99. Hmm, this better be good. Okay, so now I'm a little confused. Because there's three of them. Two of them damn near look identical. They both have epic whitening, fluoride with toothpaste, freshens breath, but this one prevents cavities, noticeably whiter teeth. Hmm, and then this one over here is anti-plaque and whitening. What does that mean? I think I'm gonna have to try all three. Okay, with Halloween around the corner, I'm one of those type of dudes, I like to give big, candy bars away I don't like giving up none of this none of this small candy if you come to my house I'm giving you a king size candy bar so let's grab some right now uh, dear stores can we please just get to Halloween first before we start doing Christmas I mean can we let's, let's take it slow okay found them here they go Full size. They got two. So that'll start me off as I keep building up more for Halloween. Come on, Rite Aid. Get it together. How am I have to come all the way here, buy some stuff, and then you don't have any bags, and then I gotta spend a dollar on one of your big reusable bags? Get it together, Rite Aid. Get it together. What's up, Big Rob? Hard at it, huh? Huh? Hard at work, huh? You should be done with the kitchen today. Nice. What are you doing? What happened? Hey, where's my candy bars? Give me my candy, or you're gonna have problems with me. You could walk after the Taliban collapse. Fear. Don't make me get in your face. I want my candies. I mean, last night I was balling. Like I was. Like, is her death just happened? Yes. And the way he, and the way he joked with his mom. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like they, like they, ha they. You could tell that they. He has that same type of relationship with his mom that we had with our mom. And he was just like. You know, somebody get my mom a chair because, you know, oh, wait a minute, mom, you, you're you standing. Why does my mom look like she's sitting down? She's so short. You know, like, and I just started, I mean, I'm in the middle of the crowd, ball, like a baby, trying to keep it together, but I can't keep it together. <laughs> you know, I'm just like trying my, like, does, you, and it just, just flowing. And then afterwards, when I went up to her and I just hugged her, she's not even my mama. <laughs> but it felt so good to She gave me that same kind of hug, you know, like comfort. the the comfort, you know. Just like you know, hugging like life it is. like how's your mom know you did that? You know what? She passed away last month and he was like, Or current qualified silver out of lessees can lease this silver out custom without optional tech. I'm sorry, my hands can be held you. It's okay, you know, it's just like, I didn't know that. Like, you know, it's just, 
It's weird having to say that she passed away. Just like, how's your brother doing? You know, just holding up. That's all we can do. I mean, what can we really do? Like, we, I mean, like, we got great time. I like great time with her. Like, I don't, I don't feel cheated. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like I did not get great time with her. Yo, I, I just want to bag on her one time. You know what I'm saying? I want to, what are you wearing? What are you doing? You know, like, I just want to, you know, why are you doing that? You know, I, I'm, I don't got no one to do that with. Other than now, Kelly's my next target now, you know, but, <laughs> you know, I got to be careful because she gets all emotional. You know what I'm saying? Mom would just ride you off. Like, ah, yeah. And I'll tell you, I don't got nobody to rub my hand. Rub my head. Rub my, 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 rub my leg. Ma, rub my leg. That, like, that. I know. She would, she would, stop. I would go to work and I'd be able to come home. And um, I'd be like, hey, God. She's like, your neck hurt. And I'm like, yeah, she's like, okay. And then we would like, I would sit down and she would rub my neck and my head. And then I'd rub her feet. You know, I'm like, we'll trade here. Like, <laughs> I think I'll even take her chomping on her chip. <laughs> yeah. Take anything right now. Okay. Wait, wait. I take that back. In person, real, <laughs> live, 100% living human. Like not, not anything, not anything else. Yeah. Not anything else, woman. <laughs> Nothing else. 100% real if I could. I think I need to give some context of what my sister is talking about right now. And what she's talking about is that when my mom was on her deathbed and she was getting ready to pass, twice I heard someone call my name and it wasn't my mom and it wasn't my sister. And so this is what my sister is talking about right now. I heard a voice call my name, Michael. Like, what kind of voice are we talking about? A, a voice, like a regular. Like I, as if somebody was in your ear or like. Someone was behind me. That's what I heard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like someone was like, Michael. And I swear, it, I thought it was you. That's why I turned around. It's like, yeah. And then when you looked at me, and I'm looking dead at you, and you're like, no, it's not me. I didn't say anything. And then I heard Michael right behind me. And I knew there wasn't nobody behind me because I had just turned around. It's four o'clock in the morning. That's when I got scared. <laughs> Because <laughs> I know I heard what I heard. Okay. Two times, clear as day. Michael. Huh? <laughs> Michael. What? What? Uh, okay, you hey. Talking Spanish? Como? <laughs> <laughs> Como se llama? Just to give some more context to things. My mother's death was a very spiritual experience that me and my sister shared with her. And it was, it was an amazing experience. I don't even know how to put it into words. It was an amazing experience. The loss of my mom is just uh, just still tough to deal with, and uh, it just like it just doesn't seem to have gotten any easier. So you can see that the conversation between my, me and my sister today just it's just you know it becomes deep. It becomes painful in the sense of you know no regrets when it comes to our mother. 
We loved our mom, like, tremendously. It's just regretful in the sense of, ah, we just miss her. You know, we just miss her spirit and her kindness and the this level of love that she just radiated out to everyone. So this is all I got for today. It was a lazy Sunday, that's for sure. And, um, well, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Keep pushing, keep striving. Until next time, peace.